What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And I'm back again with my Ninja Foodie. And today, for the last time, I'm going to make some chicken wings from Frozen. Now, <clears throat> I just realized my Giants are not playing Sunday today. Uh, they're playing tomorrow. So I'm just going to put it on the red zone. And if you guys don't know, with DirecTV, the red zone, it, it's a channel that um, allows you to watch every team that's about to score or in the scoring distance. So since my team is not playing, I'm just going to watch that all day. And there's no, I was, if the Giants were playing today at one o'clock, I was going to go out and get me a sandwich real quick at one of my local um, restaurants. But since they're not, I figured I have plenty of time to just sit back and make something. So, shout out to Miss Brazil on YouTube. Um, for those of you who don't know, she's a YouTube creator, but most of you guys know her. She is like the queen and king of, uh, you know, fried wings on YouTube in the air fryer. Um, I remember I was doing a video and um, the highlight wasn't these um, sweet baby rays, uh, sweet golden mustard wings. But I did make that in the video, and I remember she asked, she's like, you should do a video on that, because I didn't really show how I made it, but it looked good. Everybody said it looked good, so I'm going to do it today. So, obviously, this is what we'll be using. Now, to my subscribers, I can't stand mustard, but obviously, this doesn't taste like mustard. It tastes really, really good. So, if you see this in your supermarket, go ahead and pick it up and throw them on your wings and try it out for yourself. It's awesome. Shout out to Wanda in my Kitchen Gadgets group. I think she's in all my groups. She's a Bears fan, so I'll root for the Bears today. Go Bears. Yeah, I know the drill. About a cup, a cup and a half of water. Real quick. This time I didn't forget my three squirts of uh, <laughs> liquid smoke. Shout out to my subscribers, always keeping me on my toes. Go ahead and place my rack in. And we're going to have even a little more fun today. Usually I would season my, um, you know, my frozen chicken wings beforehand. But as you can see, they're pretty frozen solid right there. I'm not going to take it apart. I'm just, we're just going to pressure cook it and let it come apart and we'll season it after and crisp it up and see how it all tastes all right let's put the top on close it up all right last time i did it from frozen i did it for 20 minutes i'm gonna do it for 18 minutes this time since i'm gonna be adding you know seasoning and then this um sweet baby rays I want to be able to, I don't want it to get too soft. So I think 18 minutes should be good. Let's go, let's just try that. Let me make sure my thing is on seal, my valve. Yes, it is on seal. Okay, so we're ready to start. All right, it's about to come to pressure soon. Combination cooking for, for real, y'all. I had this sitting in my freezer for about two months which is against the law so this is all I had left in the bag so we about to handle that alright guys we'll be back in about 17 minutes and change y'all smell that alright we're all done it's on keep warm let me go ahead and hit stop and uh, release the pressure So, before we even go further, I just want to throw this out there. Nothing beats marinating your food. So, if I were, usually when I freeze my chicken, some most of the time, I at least try and season it first and then freeze it. So, this way, when you, when you do stuff like this, it's already seasoned. The seasoning is already baked into your meat all the way to the bone. But, in this case, I like to do it to show you we can, we can do it otherwise um, and do the best we can and have it flavorful as well. All right, so now just for my, this is just my own theory. I'm going to spray some olive oil on there 
just so that the seasoning could stick better. That's just how I think sometimes. Don't know if that's really true, but I'm just going to roll with it because that's just how I roll. Um, I picked this up at Walmart. I usually get the um, the pink salt one, uh, but I saw this one and I'll give it a shot. This one's sea salt, not the pink salt. So I'm going to first season it with that, mix it up. Got my QVC silicone thingy here. Let's mix it up. Spurtle, yeah. I'm, I was at a loss of words. Sorry about that. It's all right. Sometimes it happens in your 40s. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Looking awesome. Okay. Now, of course, like I said, marinating your, your meats is the best, best, best flavor. Of course. So if you can do that, do that. Now it's just time to coat it with some baby rays. And I'll add some more if I need it. I don't want to like overkill it, even though that won't be a big deal. But you get the point. Oh man, it smells awesome already. And like I said, I hate mustard, guys. I, I can't stand it. But this doesn't. This this has an awesome taste that you guys. I, I I want you to try it. And don't and feel free, guys. Any type of sauce. I mean, you know I. I know Sweet Baby Ray's is cliche. I mean, any type of, you know, your favorite barbecue sauce is, um, I don't know, any type of sauce that you like that you buy or that you make on your own, feel free. Do it. It's awesome. I, tr I try it. I bet you you'd be like, wow. All right. It's time to crisp it up, y'all. Y'all know the drill. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and air crisp these. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll do 12 minutes and uh, we'll do 7 minutes at, at first and we'll take it from there. Oh, one other thing um, I wanted to tell you. I, I have the liquid below. I'm not going to take it out uh, because I did hear from Ninja that it's okay to leave um, your liquid in there as long as it's, I guess, not over 3 cups, which shouldn't be my ever, mostly in my case. I usually put just 1 cup of water in there, so... I should be good always, but yeah, um, it won't interfere with the crispness, and this will be a testimony to that as well. So, all right, let's go to here, crisp, go to 400. Like I said we'll do 12 minutes and we'll hit start. All right, just past five minutes, let's give it an open. Yep, I like what I see. I like what I see. Let's go ahead and finish them up. Look at that, y'all. Now that is how you crisp up some wings. It smells absolutely fantastic. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. Mmm, that smelled good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that, y'all. You know we need to take a bite. And these are going to be extra tender, yet crisp at the same time. Come on, man. That's awesome. I'll take a bite, please. Got it? All right. Mmm. So moist. Flavorful. Mmm. It's good. I taste all the flavors, but I tell you what, if I would have marinated this, oh, uh, you if you try this, please marinate it. I taste it. 
But oh, it would taste so much better if I marinated it. Oh my god. But this tastes awesome. No, make make no mistake. This is fantastic. No, I can't leave without trying out this onion ring. Nathan's onion ring. The best onion rings that you can buy in the frozen section. Have a bite, y'all. Got it? Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, as y'all already know, it's time to sit down and enjoy this. I'm going to leave a link in the uh, description to my Evo oil sprayer. I'm also going to leave a link in the description to my um, foodie group. My Ninja Foodie group is called Ninja Foodie Nation. Uh, we have over 700 members in there now. If you have a foodie, please join my group. Um, Share your recipes when you get in or get recipes. Um, and that's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's cooking with Doug.